Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from Slidenote here. In this video, we are gonna talk about how to get a faster Android emulator. Now let's be honest about this. Ever since you started developing Android, the biggest pain for you has been the Android emulator. And you and I have both scratched our heads long enough figuring out how and when Google is gonna release a better emulator. But no more need for that. We're gonna use this tool called Jenny Motion that's gonna give us a better emulator. Now there are many other tools that do the same thing. If you guys do know some of them, please share here in the comment boxes below. Let the other people know what kind of emulators are available. So let's get started with this. Step 1. Download Oracle Virtual Box that lets you run an operating system virtually inside your real OS. Step 2. Download the Jenny Motion software for your desktop. Step 3. Get the Genymotion plugin for Eclipse. Now, at the time of making this video, there's only Genymotion plugins for Eclipse and IntelliJ. So, if you guys are on Android Studio, well, sorry about that. I haven't been able to find any plugins that support Android Studio right now. But I have no clue if the one that supports IntelliJ will actually run on Android Studio because Android Studio, like you guys know, is a very, very modified version of IntelliJ IDE. So, enough with this. Let's get this over with. So here, the first step is to download virtual box. I'll be putting a link to this uh, download right in the description text in the video below. So here, if you guys notice, there's virtual box packages for Windows, OS X, Linux, and Solaris. So since I'm running on Windows, I'll be selecting the first one. Just click it and that's all. You don't have to take any other additional effort for downloading this. It directly downloads your system. So I'm gonna cancel this because I already have this downloaded. So after downloading the virtualbox exe file is right here on my desktop. I'm gonna just click it, run it. It's pretty simple, straightforward to install. Click next. As you guys notice, there are several options over here. You need to worry about these options only if you plan to use Oracle virtualbox other than just for running this Jenny motion, like launching your own OS X inside virtualbox. For now, I'm not gonna change any of these options. Just click next over here. It's going to see program files, Oracle virtualbox. Then it says create a shortcut to launch bar, no need, it's gonna take up some resources so I'm gonna select no, click install and we are good to go. Once the installation is done it says start Oracle VM virtual box, no need to start that, just uncheck the option, click finish and now let's go to option. So for the second option I'm gonna need Genymotion from this site which is genymotion.com. Again I'll include a link to this right in the description text in the video below so please go there and check it out. Now as you guys notice there's a pricing tab over here but don't worry about it you can get to use it for free. So I'm gonna say sign up. So once you enter that option you're left with two choices login and sign up. So if you're a first timer you gotta go here sign up first create an account. But since I already have an account over here I'll be simply logging. I'm gonna say login over here with my username and password. So once inside the screen I get the option which says download Genymotion. I'm gonna click on that and that is gonna take us to the page where we get the setup. So as you guys notice it says download ready to Genymotion installer for Windows. Now this so website is pretty good. It detects which OS you're running on. So I'm going to directly select this option over here. The small download button and as you guys notice again we get the direct prompt to save that file. Now since I already have that file I'm not going to save it. I'm going to click cancel. But if you don't have the file you can simply download it just by clicking that button. So once Genymotion has been finally downloaded, it's right here on my desktop. It says Genymotion.exe. I'm gonna select that file, click run again as usual, click yes. Select the language as English for my case. Next. And this URL is very important. It says C program files, Genymotion, Jenny Mobile, or Jenny Mobile, Jenny Motion, whatever. So this URL is gonna be later needed inside Eclipse so that we can configure it. I'm gonna click next over here. It says folder already exists. Okay, in my case, there is already that folder, but I'm gonna re reinstall it anyway inside that folder. I'm gonna click desktop icon, click install, and it should be pretty straightforward. So, as you guys notice, now it says launch Genymotion again. There is no need to do that. Just unselect the option, click finish, and let's go to our third step. So, in the third step, let's go back to that same page where we downloaded Genymotion. If you go down here, you guys notice it says download IntelliJ IDE plugin, download Eclipse plugin. Now at the time of making this video, like I said, I'm gonna use the Eclipse one. There is the download option right here, but I'm not gonna do that. If you read below, it says the installation of the plugin can be done by launching Eclipse, going to help install new software and pasting this URL. So that is what I'm gonna do. It's a simpler approach if you ask me, I'm gonna select this 
URL over here go to Eclipse help install new software it says select a site just paste the URL and hit enter on your Eclipse so now as you guys notice it detects Jenny mobile over here I'm gonna just expand it select both of them click next so as you guys notice it finally takes me to the prompt where it says install this and again click next over here accept the license agreement click finish and at this point there is probably gonna be a warning that says this is unsigned content certificate expired blah 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 so at this point it's completed and it says you need to restart the ADT for changes to take effect and I'm gonna restart it right now and then we are gonna see this in action so now my Eclipse is restarted after everything has been installed successfully let's just hope things run so if you select this over here click run here at the top now something weird is gonna really happen which I'm gonna show you guys because I did this mistake it says no compatible targets were found now by default when you click run here it is gonna try to run this app using the default emulator that comes up right so you don't want that I'm gonna click no over here and I'm gonna close this as you guys notice this is the default prompt right so I'm gonna go here at the top at Jenny motion virtual devices manager which has its own virtual devices manager so I'm gonna select that option over here and it says ready I'm gonna click new over here I'm gonna create my virtual device from Jenny motion it says you have no virtual device available do you want to add one click yes so once I log in successfully it shows me a list of devices that I can use and I'll be selecting the one API level 18 Nexus S 4.3 480 into 800 which is my favorite resolution in Android so I'm gonna click add over here and then it's gonna show me the settings so you guys notice there is a memory size of 384 MB which I believe is the RAM number of CPUs screen size data storage capacity of some 16 watt 16 GB great so I'm gonna click next over here after all these settings and now it's gonna try and download my virtual device right so after my download is complete now it says virtual device integrity check at 100% and that means things are done so I'm gonna click next it's gonna ask me the name I'm gonna give it my name just like a lot of customized stuff so as you guys notice it says virtual device created successfully so I'm gonna click finish over here and we are great to go so I'm gonna click play on this right now and it's probably gonna give us an error saying things need to be configured or something I'm not sure it may work it may not work let's find out so the first time I try and use this I also have to configure the path to Android SDK so I'm gonna click yes over here and we need to tell it exactly where to find the Android SDK which in my case is inside C so on my system right near the Eclipse folder I have the SDK I'm gonna select that click choose over here and that should take care of it so click OK and we are good to go so I'm gonna click play right now so after all these steps just go here to this icon select the device click start and as you guys notice it says starting virtual device and there is some issue about versions differ but click OK for now and our emulator is up as you guys notice something is happening it is optimizing finishing boot and that folks was very fast you saw that I'm gonna just minimize this again minimize Eclipse to the right left side of the window I'm gonna select this over here and click run now it's gives me the option to run on my running Android emulator click OK and as you guys notice that is so fast press ctrl F11 ok it's gonna go to the same place oops just over here select this window press ctrl F11 that is just so fast click OK over here again if I close my emulator select the option over here select this click start as you guys notice it's a starting virtual device and just to show you guys just how much faster this thing works I'm not fast forwarding or skipping anything I'm just clicking OK over here and the emulator actually loads now as you guys notice this step takes five minutes oh my god you saw that that was just 30 40 seconds right in front of your eyes and that is just how good this emulator is so it's not 100 times 100 percent it is 100 times faster than what your existing emulator is so hopefully you guys have understood something about how to get a better emulator and hopefully you guys will also put this to use now again if you know other tools please share it with the other people who are watching this video in the comment section below if you like what you saw please subscribe to our channel let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice